Welcome to Imperfectly Well on Cosmic TV. Thank you so much for joining me here. If you are new to Cosmic TV, welcome. If you are a veteran, welcome back. This is such a beautiful community. It's like a spiritual and metaphysical Netflix. You can find Cosmic TV on www.cosmictelevision.com. You can also find it on the App Store. And you're going to find other shows like this. You're also going to find films from conscious filmmakers in addition to courses and pretty much anything that you would need for your spiritual and metaphysical journey. So my name is Laura Mazzotta, and I am an Akashic therapist and a Reiki master of 20 years. And I am absolutely here to assist spiritual entrepreneurs with really ditching their indecision, ditching their doubt so that they can fully thrive with their vitality, intimacy, freedom, abundance, you name it. And I'm here to scream it from the rooftop. So today I'm going to be talking to you about empowerment and I'm not really going to be talking to you. I'm just going to be channeling some empowerment mantras and showing you how to really, how I summon my power and really pull that up. This came forward actually from a conversation that we were having in one of my programs the other day. But before I go there and tell you that story, if you are watching on my business page, Emerge Healing and Wellness, or in another group, I encourage you to jump over to Cosmic TV because I won't be able to see your comments and chat with you live if you're not um, typing in the chat of the Cosmic TV video. So hi, Sherry. And hi, Adele. Thank you guys so much for being here. Happy Friday. I'm live here every Friday at 2.15 p.m. Eastern, 11.15 a.m. Pacific. So let me tell you my story. I have a program called Rise Akashic Immersion, and this is, it's obviously a comprehensive teaching of the Akashic Records, and you learn how to read your records, you learn how to expand your intuition, how this energy really interacts with your energy and creates the most unique gifts and the unique downloads and insights and wisdom that come specifically through you, that are meant to come specifically through you. And right now in the program, we also have coaching calls along with the digital certification um, and digital modules. And so we were on our group call the other day. And one of my clients was talking about um, how he was having trouble with energy leaking into his field, like picking up other people's energy and feeling this need to protect his energy. Now, I just did a post, I think it was yesterday on this, that it has been blowing up. Everybody's chatting about this now, and I'm kind of excited about it because I think it's a really good topic to open up conversation in this community about. So I happen to not believe in energetic protection. I think that it serves us mildly, um, but it's temporary because we can call on that energetic bubble and we can allow ourselves to magnetize what it is we desire. But when it comes to protection, that's really implying that other people outside of us can get us, right? That there's something that there's negative or evil or awful or not in alignment that is really putting us at risk. And what I feel, and this is the conversation that we had in my program, is that if we're really truly standing in our full confidence of who we are, our vibration, our mission, our vision, where we're going in this world, what we're meant to be doing, then it doesn't really matter what other people kind of bring into our field. It's not going to touch us. It's not going to penetrate our field. And it's not going to make us weaker or vulnerable if we are standing so firmly in our power and confidence in who we are, where we're going, and, and really putting a level of importance on that, that nothing else is as important as fulfilling our miss mission. And when we're there, no matter what comes into our field, it automatically falls away if it's not aligned with that. So we don't even need to get into a space of like questioning who we are, what we're doing. Oh, am I supposed to listen to this person, etc. You don't even get into a space where you're doubting yourself or questioning what's coming forward into your field because you know that it's meant to be there. You know that you have a role in transforming or shifting it, right? So this is really a cool topic because as we were talking about this in my program, I said, well, this is what I do to get into my power. This is how I really summon my power from the depths of my being and remind myself, remind myself who I am, remind myself where I'm going, remind myself what my bigger vision is and how vital it is, not just for me, but for the ascension of the planet, for the expansion of people's physical and mental health into a space where we can hold it so much more boldly and strongly. So as I was doing this and I kind of went on my rant and was summoning my power and just sharing all the things in my program, my clients were like, oh my gosh, like that was really helpful. Like I feel really, really, really good right now. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Like I literally just started to channel and just, you know, take part in my own practice. 
And when they were so impacted by it, I was like, oh, this is something that other people could benefit from too. So I decided to share it with you today. I literally have no idea what's going to come out of my mouth. I'm simply going to open my field and I encourage you to do the same, to really open your field to just receive whatever comes through. I'm gonna start with just kind of telling you what I do and just kind of talking through it. And then I'm just gonna let it rip, I'm just gonna let it go and just allow my power and my momentum to develop. And this is something that I really encourage you to find a practice of your own. You don't have to use mine. You can kind of use mine as to, to as a stepping stone, really, as a bridge to finding your own way to summon your own power or to feel it as palpably as I feel it when I pull up my power, okay? So again, you don't have to follow this to a T, but I do encourage you to at least receive the vibration of it, allow it to settle into your field and decide for yourself, not in your mind, but in your heart space, what feels aligned. It could be a statement that I say. It could be the way that I'm speaking. It could be the way that I'm holding my body. I want you to attend to all of it and take what you wish and dispose of what you don't like or, or, or doesn't feel aligned for you, okay? All right, so, hi Adam, good to see you buddy. Happy Friday. So I'm gonna dive into this. So I'm just gonna start talking about how this usually comes into my field and then I'm just gonna go from there and you guys can chime in and ask questions or um, just kind of identify in the comments what's resonating for you so that you can keep a log for yourself and assist other people who are listening live or on the replay with being able to really hone in on some of these statements or concepts that feel really, really aligned and feel really empowering, okay? Power is exactly what we need when we're going through anything, when we wanna heal, when we wanna expand, um, when we wanna ground ourselves, it all starts with empowerment because then we have our motivation and our momentum to keep going and to be able to actually sustain this level of change, okay? It's 2.22 my time. I've been seeing a lot of angel numbers today, so just celebrating that. Okay, so somebody comes into your field or you know that you're gonna be going to an event where there's gonna be somebody there who usually, you know, ruffles your feathers a little bit or makes you feel inadequate or, you know, being in their presence, you start to question yourself or you're nervous about what am I gonna to say to this person or whatever, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to remind ourselves who we are, okay? Now, do you need to absolutely know who you are at 100% certainty? No, hell no. First of all, friend, if you're on this path, your spirituality is going to continue to evolve you as you're on this path. So it's a stepwise progression and not one that you just want to, you know, bowl over because the thing is we have lessons to learn along the way and we also have human bodies and nervous systems that need to adjust to shifts and changes in a way that isn't too much of a shock to the system, right? We want to take care of our physical bodies. We want to love ourselves through it. We want it to be as gentle as possible. So you don't have to know 100% who you are at the core. You have a pretty good idea, just so you know. Even if you question that, you do have a pretty good idea of who you are already. So it's just returning to that knowledge and understanding and allowing yourself to really feel it. And the more that you open up space to feel it, the more it's gonna become your automatic vibration and you're gonna be standing in it more and more often, which is super fun, okay? So I'm in a situation, I am in a room with somebody who's lower vibe, maybe pissy, maybe a little narcissistic, stuck in the human, whatever you want to call it, right? So for me, I'm not, I'm going to choose to distance myself from that. And the reason I'm going to choose to distance myself from that is because I start to feel a little bit of a rub. Like I start to feel a little bit of, okay, like I can feel a little anxiety building or I can feel like, um, there's just something off about this. I could even feel a little nauseous, a little confused, a little like, hmm, that's intriguing. And so I know that the way that I process things is that I lean back, right? I lean back and I go within. And I encourage you to do the same because that's where your wisdom and perspective lie for your soul's purpose, not all this noise on the outside, okay? So I'm gonna just kinda kinda distance myself or separate myself a little bit. If I need to go into another room to do it, that's what I'll do. You can even do this at the end of the day after work or even before you go in, okay? And it's it's funny because we talk about like releasing energetic cords and making sure that we're clearing our energy field when we are with people or when we feel like our, our field is getting penetrated or something like that. 
And again, that's you still being in the mindset that somebody else has power over you, right? Instead of just choosing your vibe and choosing who you are, like you don't need to clear your field if you're consistently in an empowered space. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff that I teach. This is the kind of stuff that we were doing in my program the other day. So, yeah, so, I'm, so I kind of remove myself a little bit. I start to distance. I might go into another room. That's what I'm going to picture right now. I'm going to envision myself going into another room because that would be my ideal. Go into another room and I'm like, who am I? What am I meant to do here? Like, what am I doing here? Look at all of the lives that I've changed. Look at all of the people that I have impacted just by being me. I don't even have to say anything. Like literally just my presence can impact people. Sometimes it impacts them in the way that ruffles their feathers, but it certainly makes them think, correct? And so my presence alone has impact. Look at everything that I've been through. Look at all of the experiences that have gone on in my life, the traumas that I've endured. And look how resilient I am, look where I am now. And how did I get there? Because of the choices that I made. I made choices that got me to this point that allow me to be thriving and resilient and happy and loving and always open to learning more about myself and learning more about other people and learning more about the world, learning more about the ether, the different dimensions, the spirit world. I am infinitely curious, infinitely curious. And that curiosity is something that's automatically gonna transfer over to other people when they come into my field. Of course I'm gonna be curious. But as I continue to apply this curiosity in my life and learn more and more and more about myself, I can very quickly know if it's something that I wanna spend my time exploring. And when I get to that point, I'm like, fuck no. I don't wanna dive in to a lower vibe. I don't wanna do that because you know what? I have a big mission to accomplish here. This is, this is irrelevant. It is not important. It is insignificant to me, to my vision in this moment. I have a, vi a vision and a mission to change the perspective on mental health to a much more holistic version. I have a mission to create a charity for supporting and funding people to eat fi uh, organic food to pay for herbal supplements, to see naturopaths, to connect with alternative medicine practitioners. I have a desire to open up a spiritual center that allows people to have a safe space to go so that they can feel held and loved. That does not happen when my momentum stops. That does not happen when somebody comes into my life and questions me. I don't need their opinion. That means that they're not jazzed and pumped up about my journey. They're not jazzed and pumped up about my mission and my vision as I am. I want people to jump on this train with me. I want people to say, oh my gosh, yes, I have a passion for that too. I have a vision for that too. That is so important to me. Then jump on my train, my friend. Let's go for a ride because I am full steam ahead. And it is too fucking important because I have seen too many people I've seen too many people hit their heads against the wall with getting this, these strategies and these tools to keep trying to get better and better and better and fix themselves and fix themselves and fix themselves where ultimately they are not flawed. I want people to operate in a preventive way so that we are not saving people from all of these horrible illnesses and horrible mental health issues that are obstructing their functioning. I want to prevent getting there in the first place. I want to teach children how to be able to harness their divine essence at a very young age, remembering who they are so that they can forward their mission, so that they can forward their passion, so that they can radiate that without apology, so that they're not infused with all of the expectations and, and distorted belief systems from society because that's how it's supposed to be. It's too big. It's too important. It's too important when we see all of these things happening in the world and people are, are honestly lost souls and, and feeling tortured and feeling confused. I don't want anyone to be that way. My heart is too big. My mission is too big. I have devoted myself as a servant of 
God, as a servant of the universe. And by damn, God does not want us to sit here in fucking misery. And I have been chosen for that. My soul chose that. Let's be clear. My soul chose that. And I've chosen to receive it. I've chosen to accept it. I've chosen to commit and devote myself to it. And that level of devotion is a devotion to myself, is a devotion to the collective. And that is so much bigger than a couple people or a handful of people who come in and say, mm, I don't know about that. Good for you. I'm so glad that you have an opinion. I'm glad that I activated power within you. I'm glad that I activated your ability to see what your true values are, what your mission is, what's important to you and what's not. I served you in that moment. And you also served me because I know where to place my energy. Are you on that train with me? If you are not on that train with me, then I love you and I celebrate your train and I will support your train. But I'm also not going to join you in your journey in that moment. I'm going to continue on mine because both of us are serving by being on our journeys. Your soul chose yours for a reason too. That doesn't mean it's less important than mine. It doesn't mean that it's dismissed. But I remember who I am. I remember what I'm here for. And I love it. And I love God. And I trust God. I trust God more than I trust myself. So I allow God to lead me. And when I have devoted to that, and I have make an, made a firm commitment to being a service provider, with God's vision on my heart, not my own, with God's vision on my heart, then how is a human gonna interact with that? How is a human gonna compete with God's vision? It's just not realistic. God is all knowing and all infinite and views us, is able to see how this is gonna, gonna go and views us with wonder and awe that we are brave enough to be able to take this on and say, holy shit, yes. Give me the ticket to that train. That sounds like fun. And that's the other piece. It's like, is this fun? Hanging out with this person who's a naysayer, is that fun? Does that light me up? Does it make me feel like my spark has been ignited? No. It's kind of, you know, it's a party pooping vibe. I'm interested in creating the rave. Thank you very much. What's funny is that I'm an introvert, so I will probably sit on the sidelines while everybody else dances, but I'm going to be really fucking proud and happy that everybody has a collective space to come dance their asses off. Alrighty, how's this feeling so far? <laughs> this is the kind of thing that I do, is to just get myself, and, and the content is not always the same. I mean, my mission is the same, and and the content is is you know, fairly close, right? But this is my truth, okay? It's not gonna be your truth. You may be able to fill in this same speech or soliloquy or whatever the hell this was, channeling, right? You can fill it in with your details. But there's some very basic truths that, in, that are included here that are universal, like the fact that God drives the bus like the fact that we get to choose where we are of service, like the fact that we get to decide what our vibe is, what our mission is, and we get to immerse ourselves so deeply in it that we have full unwavering belief in where we're going. Where is your unwavering belief? What is that in? Is that in God? Is it in yourself? Is it in your heart space? Is it in your mission? Where is your unwavering belief? Because I'll tell you, I was gravely ill, gravely ill six years ago. Couldn't stand for months on end. But guess what I had? The only thing that I had at that moment was unwavering belief. I knew without a doubt that I was destined for more with my physical health and otherwise. I knew it. I had no idea what it looked like. I had no idea how to get there, but I just had deep, deep belief so where are you holding deep belief 
in yourself, in your vision, in God, in your service to humanity. That is what drives the bus. And when you can connect to that and you can feel it, really feel it, it's not enough to just say these things. You have to get yourself into the vibe. You have to allow the vibe to carry you and guide you like I just did. I just kind of verbally spewed what was coming up in my vibe. You have to get yourself online vibrationally with that belief. And when you do that, no matter who comes into your field, they can't rock you. They can't. Even if there's that quick moment of, okay, come right back online. You remi remind yourself who you are. The issue is, how do I remember to remind myself? That's where the emotional work comes in, right? The, the, the rub, the, the tension, the discomfort, the anxiety, the confusion, the doubt, the guilt, that comes up. Guess what that is? That is a catalyst for your next level. That is a catalytic reminder of who the fuck you are and of what you're supposed to do here. It's cueing you to return your awareness within. And not just within your physical, not just within your emotional, not just within your mind, but within your soul. We wanna to go to depth here. Unwavering belief. The only thing that's truly unwavering is our soul. So the more you cultivate and connect with that relationship, the more unwavering you will be as a human. And we are habitual beings. So the more consistent you are with this practice, the less you're gonna have to remind yourself to do it. The question is, how devoted and sincere are you? with your mission and where you're going. How devoted and sincere are you about who the fuck you are and what you are meant to do here? Because I'll tell you that person who's sobbing right now and struggling and feeling lonely and lost and doesn't have anybody to connect to, they're waiting for you to have unwavering belief. They're waiting for you to come into your own and return to your natural state so that they can align with that person who's a true soul sister or soul brother and has been waiting for their tribe so that they can figure out who the fuck they are and what they're supposed to do. So stop kicking the can down the road. This is how we do it, right? And it doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. This is not a situation to blame yourself because we're human beings. We need to remind ourselves of this every single day until it becomes a, a, it, like when we're attuned to it, right? It becomes the fabric of our being. So I love you. How does this feel? <laughs> Whew, I'm tired. <laughs> Baby, that was good, man. What's coming forward for you guys? Drop it in the comments. Like what is being awakened within you with, even if it's not my words, but just the energy that's coming towards you. Yeah, you have been kicking the can, right, Shalane? I hear you. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Shalane, you are such a fucking badass. Like you are so beautiful. Your heart space, oh my goodness gracious. Yes. You gotta get serious about what it is you're here for and devote to it. And when I say devotion, that's my word for 2022. It is not just about, oh, I'm making a sincere commitment, okay? Devotion is a deep immersion into the vibration of it and choosing to like sit in that hot tub every day, right? Empowerment, exactly. That's why I call myself the confidence queen because this is a practice that I've needed to cultivate for myself. I thought, I'm just gonna be an anxious person for the rest of my life, just kind of who I am, whatever. I didn't really care, it didn't really bother me. I was okay with it. But when I had a taste of my power, game changer. Just like one of my mentors says, once you see it, you can't unsee it. You can't unsee it. I love you too, Donna, so much. I needed this today. I needed some Laura inspiration to lift my vibe. Yeah, this sucker's going on my YouTube too, so watch it over and over again as you need a good kick in the ass or just a reminder of who you are. 
right? You are not a victim of your circumstances. You can come up with every excuse in the world why you can't move forward, why you can't sign up for that program, why you can't um, feel better, all of those things. It all comes down to your unwavering belief in who you are and who you're meant to become. That's what it all comes down to. Even in my lovely and special health journey, physical health journey, has been the best and biggest lesson that I am deeply grateful for because it's allowed me to hold on wavering belief in the fact that I'm just going to continue to improve. I know that for sure. And I'm pretty freaking awesome now. I'm gonna get even more phenomenal. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. I'm so glad this served you guys. Yeah, it's just so funny because I was in my, my Rise Akashic Immersion program the other day and this just kind of came out as we were talking about this topic and they were just like, holy shit, that felt really good. <laughs> It's like, okay, I'll share it with everybody then. I mean, the words were different. I don't even know what came out of my mouth then. I was even more in channeling mode at that point. Um, but it was similar, you know, and the vibe was the same. And the vibe comes from a soul-centered, heart-centered space. And this is exactly why I've created the, um, the Sacred Integration Mastermind, because it's about rooting yourself, your vitality, your business into reverence for God allowing God's vision to drive you, to drive your business, right? So that you can get to this space of confidence and power without sacrificing your vitality, without sacrificing your family relationships, your intimacy, your freedom, your abundance. In fact, it opens up to it. We don't have to say, well, you know what? I'm not gonna feel well, so I can't do that. Instead, how about I have such a strong desire to do that, let your desire lead you. I just did a post on this. I was like, gone are the days when people are paying five figures for freaking masterminds. It's like ridiculous to, to be able to know, and I've paid that a lot, but it's, I'm not there anymore. I feel like we're at this space where it's like, no, how do we just guide people to be able to raw, raw themselves, right? And to be able to be in this space where it's like, you know, desire is leading instead of need, right? Like I desire this because my soul wants to get on the train and freaking go a million miles an hour or go two miles an hour. You get to go at whatever pace feels comfortable for you because you are a unique being and your unique medicine is being, is being summoned by soul. It's weight being, uh, I can't think of the word, like I'm thinking like waited upon by other people. That's the only way I can think about it, right? People are ready for this. Do you know how bad the mental health is in our, on our globe right now after the pandemic and physical health? Do you know how badly we need this? And people to rise into that unwavering belief in something so that we can be models and pillars of strength for people who are not there yet or who need a little bit extra nudging or, or TLC to get there. The more people who can come online with this, the happier we'll be collectively, the healthier we'll be collectively. So I'm gonna drop the link for the Sacred Integration Mastermind. This is something that I really want you to read, uh, read over. I want you to really connect with it, okay? This is the kind of work that we're doing in this space, not only for you, but for your clients, for your business, okay? It's for spiritual entrepreneurs. And I want you to feel into it when you read about it. Feel into it, see if the desire is there, okay? And then message me if you wanna do it. I'll come up with whatever payment plan works for you because it's too important. It is too important to get the train rolling, my friends, to pull out of the gate, okay? And this is a human support container to be able to guide you through it, okay? that doesn't even touch the divine support container that's available to us. And we're going to access it. We're going to root everything within that so that you have this infinite access, right? So join me. I'll throw the link in here for you guys. <sighs> I think I need to go take a nap. <laughs> this is generator energy, my friends. You pull it up and this is what's so cool. It's like we get to pull up our power at this level. This is a perfect example of 
like an introvert who gets to be empowered, right? I am, every single time I've taken the Myers-Briggs personality test, I'm like 86 to 92% introverted. I am so introverted, but yet very dynamic and animated when I am in my desire and my passion and my power. But this is the thing. So I just did this, right? Guess what I'm going to do the rest of the day? I'm going to chill the fuck out. This doesn't mean that I am in raw, raw mode 24 seven, because then my train would crash into a fucking tree, right? <laughs> so it's really good for this piece too, to show you that when you do this for yourself, keep space open afterwards, keep space open to integrate it. Okay. And to really allow it to settle into your being and to be true to your energy, because you, you're not expected to be at this space all the time. And if you are, you're going to wear yourself out. That's how burnout happens. So it's like, this feels so freaking good and so amazing. And now I'm ready to hold it myself. I've shared it with you and now I want it for me. So I'm going to hold on to it for me, allow it to integrate into my heart space, allow it to buzz through my entire body. I can already feel my body buzzing and allow this vibration to be encoded at a deeper level than the last time I did this, which was Wednesday in my rise across Kashuk immersion program. Okay. You're so welcome. And Lori, I'm sending you lots of love and healing vibes. And I, I totally feel you. My health was in a terrible space, terrible space. And I felt like a victim and I felt defeated and I was blaming everyone, including the doctors. And I was angry and all the things and none of it served me. It all disempowered me. The more that I took responsibility for everything that came into my field, including my health status, the more freedom I experienced, the more I grew and the healthier I became. So happy to hold space for you on that. Just message me if you want to do that. But um, looks like the link is here for the Sacred Integration Mastermind. Click on it, feel into it, allow that desire to come forward, listen and follow the desire, and then we'll figure out all the human stuff later. Okay? I love you guys. Thank you for receiving this. Thank you for being available for this. Thank you for integrating this and giving yourself some space and time after this to integrate what lands, what doesn't. And oh, honey bunches, Shalane, I hear you, baby. I hear you. I have um, immunodeficiency and autoimmune and I had COVID, I think it was two weeks into the pandemic and I had it for six weeks and it was a rough one, <laughs> a little touch and go there for a while. And um, so I totally feel where you are right now. And I, every night before I go to bed, I give myself Reiki and I send Reiki to anyone else that's just like in my field. So I'm going to send you some Reiki tonight, Shalene, if you're open to receiving that. And I'll send you some too, Lori. Um, and um, just wrap us all in a nice little energetic hug. Okay. I love you guys so much. Mwah. I will see you next week. Same time, same place. 2.15 PM Eastern on Cosmic TV. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye.